Hi, okay, um, my hair is in the wavy state right now, so, um, alright, um, okay, I have to say something about where I am today, um, sorry for West Coast people, spoiler alert, just in case, I probably am gonna spoil something, although I don't mean to, um, alright. Today being Valentine's Day, I was wondering what the soaps were going to do. I wondered if they were going to address it, if it was going to be love fest, if they were going to avoid it. I wondered what they were going to do. Um, so, I start watching uh, YNR, and uh, I'm like, okay, they're going to mention it, but I don't think they're going to hit me over the head with it. So, what they did was... Um, they did the romantic montages of, like, people in the past, and, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I've publicly <laughs> said this yet, but, um, everything looks like they're going to pair up Daniel and Lily again. Um, Michael Grazade and Crystal Khalil. All right. Um, and, and a side note. Which is important. These are the same people, actors, who played the characters back in the day when they were together in the first place. So, if they reunite, it's full circle. Alright. Um, so, you know, they're hanging out and they, they go outside and they're reminiscing about the past and whatever. And I'm like, oh, great, they're going to get back together. Like, everything's leading up to that. Everything is leading up to that. So I'm like, oh, great. Yay. Yay. All right. This is why I say spoiler alert. Because in the last two minutes of the show, two minutes, they bring on Heather, Daniel's ex-girlfriend, wife. I'm not sure what her connection is. Okay? And... Daniel has just come home, not expecting anybody to be there, and then he's, like, shocked when he sees the Heather at the door, right inside the door. All right, so, Heather, I have no information on who it is, how they're connected, except for she's the mother of his child. All I know. All right, um, so... Um, talking about busting the balloon. I got all excited, and then they killed it in two minutes flat. Um, all right. Okay, so, going over to b, &B for a second. Um, I kind of like b, b um, because I know the name of the show is Bold and Beautiful, but they really are bold, and their cast is beautiful. See what I did there. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Um, all right. So, uh, couples. Um, Heather, Tom, and Lawrence and Victor. My two favorites when they're put together. And I love them apart, too. Um, but Katie, uh, Katie, Katie Logan and Carter. Okay. So, all right, um, I did not know this was going to happen. I mean, I, I love it, but I was just, I was shocked for a second, and I was like, oh, wow, okay, they did that. Um, okay, so, uh, Katie is in the office, and she doesn't have, like, she's basically in bra and panties, and that's it, okay? And she's getting dressed, like, the dress that she wants to wear, or the clothes she wants to wear is right in her hand, but she hasn't put it on yet, okay? So, and then Carter comes in the door, and she's not expecting anybody to be there. So, she's like, oh, I thought I locked the door. But, she says, you can come in, whatever, I'm not shy. So, I like that because the other soaps, like most soaps, would be like, oh my god, and you have this moment of embarrassment and stuff like that, and all the, you know, so anyway, okay, um, 
I usually don't do this because it's kind of personal, but, um, okay, I have to go on the wardrobe I saw. So, I have to say, <laughs> um, Heather Tom and, and the costume department, or whatever, I appreciate the, the purple laundry. Um, it was nice to see. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, no, it was good because, I mean, they make out, like, adult, like, this is, like, a grown show, and they, they do what an adult would do, so that, I appreciate that. Um, no, but then again, on the other side, uh, I mean, uh, I'm joking and everything, and it is fine and whatever, but I like the fact that Carter and Kitty have a whole relationship. It's not based on one part or another part. They have the friendship. Then they have the romantic side and the, the trust and everything. You need to have a relationship. So they got the whole thing. I appreciate that. And it's realistic. So I I, I love it. Um, and it's it. Things I love. Um, okay. Why and R? Um, no, I, I love... Okay, the one major thing I love about YNR today, well, two things, slightly. Um, okay. Uh, Nikki and, and uh, Victor, um, they've been together for a long time, okay? 40 something years. The whole time the show's been on, they've been together, or they want to be together, or whatever, okay? So, you want to talk history? They got history. Um, all right. So, you, if you're wondering what's Victor going to get Nikki, Ravon kind of say whatever. Okay, so, the, the piece of resistance is he gives her the necklace, a necklace to replace the one that was taken from, um, what's his name? Jack and, and um, Diane and, um, Jer Jeremy, uh, whatever, Stark. No. Okay, so this is full circle, people. Full circle. Okay, so the, the necklace was stolen, whatever, and and then today, Victor gives her another necklace to replace the other one. Huge. Love it. Great. Love it. Yeah. Today, I love my soaps. Love my soaps. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I did not kill a b and but I, I did hit some plot points in YNR. Um, okay. Alright. Uh, see you guys. Um, tonight, I'm not going to be on tonight because I'm going to be on the Zoom with JLJ Media for the Valentine's Day Media thing. And so, that's what I'll be doing tonight. All right, guys, have a good day. Um, enjoy the rest of Valentine's Day. Hope somebody treats you well. Bye.